Welcome to this introduction video of iNoise, iNoise in 5 minutes. iNoise includes a demonstration project which has already created models in it. You can view them. This is a calculated model in the Rotterdam Harbor area with noise contours calculated. You can enable and disable the viewing of items and you can show the noise contours per group of sources by using the group bar. Also you can show the noise contours per period by using the period bar. In that way you can toggle between the day, evening, night and 24 hour values. In 3D view you can view your model in 3D including the horizontal and vertical contours on the facades. Here you see a model with sources in the harbor and also a wind turbine. You can export your model to several formats. One option is the export to KML. When you export to KML, automatically Google Earth will start if it's installed on your computer and it will offer the newly created KML file. Then your model is shown on top of the Google Earth image. Within Google Earth you can also switch on and switch off the items that you have created in your iNoise model. And also the noise contours are exported to Google Earth. So in Google Earth you can also see your horizontal and vertical noise contours on the facade. This is a nice way of presenting your report to a customer. Just send them the KML file and they can view it in Google Earth. iNoise supports the multi-document interface. Let's create a new model. Then use the Windows Tile Vertical option to tile the models and see both. Copying and pasting is very easy. Simply select the items you want to copy, right mouse click copy, click on the new model and say right mouse click paste. Then if you want to calculate this part, enter a grid. A grid is a polygon area with uh, equally spaced grid points, in this case 10 by 10 meters. You can also add uh, unequally spaced grid points if you want to. Calculating is done by start calculation and after your calculation is finished you can show the noise contours. You can also show the noise contours including labels on the calculated grid points. Ok, now let's see how iNoise imports data. This is an, uh, an example of importing height lines. Create an ISO octave model. We go to the file import. You can import several types, shape, map info, DXF, text files, QSI files. This is an example of importing a shape file. So we select the shape file we want to import. And then you select the item type that you want to create out of the shape file. In this case we want to create height lines. The height lines are imported very quickly and you see that the height attribute is also kept. Based on height lines and height points, iNoise automatically creates a, a full 3D terrain model. You can view it in 3D view. So here you see your interpolated, triangulated terrain model and shaded. The terrain model can be used as terrain level for all your items that you want to enter. So your buildings, for instance, can be entered relative to the terrain. This is an example of a building with, for instance, a height of 10 meters. You can see what type of terrain and height definition you can choose. Then you look at the 3D view and you see that your building has been mapped on top of the terrain. This makes entering of items very easy. So here you three, see the three models we have just been looking at uh, in the multi-document interface. At the right the original model, in the middle the model we created and at the left the imported height lines. Well, thank you very much for your attention.